Hi, my name is Colton Johnston, and I'm a guardianship and conservatorship attorney here at Jackson White. Today, I want to talk briefly about conservatorship and the requirement of a bond. In Arizona, when a judge appoints someone as a conservator for a protected person or an incapacitated person, typically it's required that they obtain a bond to protect all assets and income that they'll control in that capacity. The court calculates bond by taking the protected person's assets into account. They'll add any house, accounts, investments, stocks to any expected income for the following year. And whatever that number comes to, that's typically going to set your amount of bond that needs to be protected. Bond is kind of like insurance in that it protects a certain amount of money. However, how much you pay for a bond isn't necessarily going to be the same amount that's being protected. Just like a car insurance plan, your bond premium will typically be a sum that will be paid once a year and is typically between $500 and $1,000. One way to reduce the amount that you're going to pay for a bond premium is to take into account fixed expenses. Fixed expenses are a certain amount of money that you're going to have to pay every single month for a protected person. Most commonly, a fixed expense is going to be a care facility payment that has to be made every month to maintain a protected person's care. Becoming a conservator in Arizona can be very difficult and emotional. Call us here at Jackson White if you have questions about bond, conservatorships, accountings, or anything else so we can help you through these difficult times.